I need a quick recap of Thursday night because I'm tired and have work to do tomorrow. All right, so NBA first. I said don't play anything because it didn't like what it was doing. <laughs> Injured teams lost. It's actually kind of still pretty predictable. No margin game goes to the Wizards down here. A little bit healthier. We hit their points exactly at 114. And and the other team, Minnesota, doesn't score as much. So whatever, NBA, I mean – I, I'm going to leave that distribution. It's doing cool things. So we're leaving it and it's not a bad day, but that was one and two. It's it tells you not to play those teams. Let's go over to hockey real quick. Five and three day pick of the day. Winnipeg does not win though, because it's hockey and that always happens. They outshot a lot, but they didn't win. Vegas comes back to win late. Um, Jersey does not win, but this game barely stays under the Philly Seattle game goes way over. Thought that game was going to go over. Uh, Detroit underdog wins. Team streaking. Algorithm says streaking team wins. Streaking team wins. Detroit wins. Boston still a really good team. Look at that. Five nothing. Wow. Wow. That's a really good algorithm. Boston wins. And then Montreal puts up a fight and then blows it late. Carolina. And then Washington not, not feeling it without Ovechkin losing 5 3. So an okay day. Um, it, it's pretty predictive in a lot of ways, looking at a lot of the games, actually. So not bad hockey-wise. How about college basketball? Gonzaga game is 102 to 58 right now, but that score, that's a couple minutes left. So 43 and 14 is the day overall. It's 75% with percentage overall, but we only care about home teams is what I tell you to play. Home teams go 25 and four. That is 86%. And it gets better, folks. What lost? Here's a team that was not healthy at 78%, 91%. As a matter of fact, let's move, let's remove um, all teams because I would say do not play a team that has a health below 0.9. All right. So we want to uh, only have greater than health numbers of 0.9 or better. That makes this 24 and three. And you, even though this is a 0.91, you could say don't play the 0.91, you know, as well. Like you didn't say, you know, maybe less than 0.95, you could really not play. You wouldn't play this or this or maybe this, but that gets rid of another loss here at Temple. That's just, just shows you like, don't you know, don't play that stuff. So, well, what did I tell you to play? We sorted this by line value descending, which is what, actually what we're looking at it in. I mean, wow, that's pretty. That is really, really pretty for the top seven games. Um, and five of those were value picks. They all win and they all cover. And I said you can play everything down to line differential of negative 50 or so, which is right around here. Look at that. You win basically everything with the exception of injured team Arizona State. I mean, wow. Just wow. I I mean, I like that I can come in here and tell you to do exactly one thing, look through the algorithm, and it does this. And this is a second day in a row. All, all the value picks have won. And home teams, I mean, we just look at how profitable they really are. As we zoom in on profitability, you can see that just taking everything in order you, I mean, you're at 20% ROI playing like 12 games. I mean, and, and where you said to stop at the value pick, 71% ROI, right? 3.55 units. If you bet five units, I mean, that's pretty awesome. So college basketball continues to do. If you want to thank me, if you do well with this, if you're paying attention to the videos, I have ways to pay me. There's like Venmo and PayPal and Cash App, you can do those. You should see them on the website. Um, let me know you, you care, want to need me to keep doing videos because uh, like tomorrow I'm busy. I'm probably not going to get a video up tomorrow. It's going to be a very hectic day. So I I like that. Actually, I don't have any subscribers to this anymore. So I don't feel like I have to do it every day. I just do it when I can. And tomorrow be it's probably going to be one of those days on Friday that I cannot really do it. All right, so good luck, everyone. I hope your picks won today. If you paid attention, you did. How did the away teams do? 18 and even the away teams had a winning day. How about that? Any big underdogs? Uh, just Kennesaw State, which I said was that, that was one we could play. Uh, everything else, 
nothing really crazy happened, it looks like. All right. Good luck, everybody. I'll hope your picks won and to keep on winning.